don't have my license no more because they took the shit. And I have to get driven around to everywhere I go. There's all these new tickets I have to fight. And now I got this new shit on my record that I have to get expunged. I'm upset because all of this was done in error. So the first thing I do when I get out is I call my lawyer. I'm like, yo, what happened? She's like, I don't know what happened. We handled it. She said, go on the website, I'll retrieve your uh, report, and it'll tell us what went wrong. I immediately went on the app. I went on the website. Higher volume, bro. His audio on his video is just low. I don't know what to tell you. And I got my report, and I found out the reason why they suspended my license was for a fa failure to appear to a court case that, again, not only is there plenty of paperwork to prove, but I happened to shoot a fucking vlog. I happened to shoot a fucking vlog. I was there. This is the court case. I was there. I'm not gonna lie. Failure to appear. That lawsuit finna hit, boy. Oh, he's finna hit the state, this, the, the, the city of Atlanta for a back. Man, he's finna hit the city of Atlanta for a back. Nigga, oh my God, why couldn't God have did me like this? Man, that lawsuit I never released his vlog anywhere. He said he's not suing? Why? Tripping, nigga. I'd hit these niggas for a bag. I shoot all types of content on my phone that I don't release. I don't release everything. I kind I just record it, and I don't know what the fuck it's gonna be useful for. But I was just bored, so I shot some shit. Please, all the drugs. Please stay off. What's good, gangling? Just, I'm just putting my contacts on so I can see straight before my court case. I'm super excited. I'm in the bathroom right now. Take a look, man. Let me show you the amenities. Hands tied behind my see This this vlog is gonna be shot. I, <clears throat> what the fuck? I'm thinking like I feel fucked right now. Like loose booty hole, fucked with no option. Hands tied behind my backs. So I feel fucked because I ain't do shit to deserve all these new consequences I was gonna have to deal with. I didn't do shit to deserve none of that. So. I, when I hit up my lawyer, she's like, I'm going to update you, right? She told me she was going to update me. This is the next thing she texted me. They sent in another failure to appear for you from June. And the clerk has no idea why it happened because it should not have. I'm like, yo, bro. American doing their job in that building? At this point, she got to be, this has to be on purpose. You're not going to convince me this shit wasn't done on purpose. You can't. How many, how many accidents? Whoops. Accident. I'm Whoops. back chat. Whoopsies. How many, how many accidents before it's just too convenient? This is the same county. In the middle of buck fuck nowhere, Georgia. That waited two years to suspend my license without sending me any mail. I didn't receive no mail that this shit was gonna happen. It's like their purpose. And this is all off of a fraudulent move over ticket where the officer was simply either trying to make a quota or flat out fucking racist. Maybe mm. a combination of both. This all started with the fraudulent ticket and they refuse to resolve it even when I take the correct steps to do so. And it's just like a new domino, new domino, new domino. And every time I get pulled over now, I can't help but think, is that shitty county, Carroll County, is that shitty Eats? county Chick -fil -A. going to make my life a living hell? Probably. Are they going to continue to make my life a living hell? Are they going to continue to make clerical error after clerical error after clerical error? It wasn't in Cobb, chat. It was in Carroll. I couldn't be more upset with the system right now.
Because you see it happen to so many people and it doesn't click that this shit is possible it can happen to you. You see so many people get fucked and it doesn't click that that shit is possible for you. But the other day, I learned it was. I learned that even if you take all the right steps, that it's possible you still get fucked. I learned that you could do everything correct. You can get a lawyer the way you're supposed to. You can appear on court. You can follow every law. And you could still end up in jail, bro. Isn't that crazy? You could, you could do everything by the book and still have to deal with the consequences. Turn it up. His video's low. I can't do nothing. And the fucked up part is, is I'm a great citizen. I pay my taxes. There's dozens of people that either work part-time or full-time for businesses that I own. I generate plenty of revenue. I have rental housing for, for people that travel. Like, there's so many things that I do that the state benefits from. So when I'm failed in this way, it's especially upsetting. You there better than no me because I'm a pseudo. And all I asked for was, hey, officer, can I call my lawyer? This is a mistake. I'm telling you, she'll be able to explain what's going on because I had no clue my license was suspended. And the reason I had no clue was because it shouldn't have been. I took a nap when I got home. It's not fuck USA though. Like the system is ass, but I'll be honest with y'all chat. I wouldn't, be ups I wouldn't be this upset if I didn't give a fuck about living here. Like, Canada was bad for a lot of reasons, too, mainly due to the fact that it's just difficult to run businesses there. How do you not have a volume booster? Because I don't expect niggas to make their audio so low. I'm sorry. It is. Get so one, Canada, you get one. I did. And I'll say the majority of my interactions with police officers, even if they pulled me over on some bullshit, have been civil. No, nobody's pulled the gun on me. So you didn't give you a straw? No. no. Done anything. Nobody is like fucking slam me on the front of their car. No one's, have, no one's done anything like incredibly. No, I feel like I had it better than a lot of people in jail had it. And when I would hear other people's stories, I was like, damn, bro, I can't even really be mad about my story because theirs is worse. And who knows whether or not they did the things they're accused of. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But I, in my head, I couldn't help but be grateful that it wasn't, as, it wasn't worse. You know what the officer told me, chat, when he pulled me over? I said, yo, officer, please, just like, give me a chance. This nigga said, with your driving record, and the first thing he brought up was a tent violation. <laughs> Racist. I remember this day. I pulled up to a gas station. Now, I usually drive. I usually drive with my windows down. I love just feeling the air. Georgia t weather is so beautiful. I love Georgia weather. I love feeling the air. So even if it was a little cold that day, I had my windows down. But... When you walk into the gas station, you don't want to keep your windows down. Then you could just come in there and steal some shit. So I roll my windows up. Officer pulls up and notices my windows are 5% tense. To be fair, very illegal. But they don't pull you over for stuff like that. It's very rare officer is bored enough to pull you over for tents. That's the only time it's happened to me in my years of living here. And all my cars have illegal tents. The reason I have tents is because my cars are pretty recognizable. And it's the only thing that gives me any sense of privacy. Whatever. So when I'm leaving, I notice the police officer is like kind of bustling to get to his vehicle. And I'm like, bro, I think he's about to pull me over. So I roll my windows down immediately because, again, I don't drive with them up. So if his complaint is that he couldn't see inside my car, he could when I'm driving. I'm not going to leave him down while I'm in a fucking gas station, obviously. So I try and pull up. I try and pull off the gas station as soon as I can. I'm trying to move as fast as I can. I go to 35. I don't want to go over the limit because I could tell he's going to pull me over. And I immediately cut the corner. But last second, he cuts the corner and sees me cut the corner. He pulls me over. And he gives me, a, he, he checks my tints. He does a check, a tint check. 
and he gives me a violation. Yeah, my driving record. I've been I've been so good for the last year that you bringing up shit from years ago, you bringing up shit from years ago as a reason to not allow me to call my lawyer is so fucking crazy. Sure, you're just doing your job, but show a little bit of fucking empathy. Now I gotta deal with all this bullshit. And he had the gall to say that any officer would do this. Not true. I've, I've once been in handcuffs. I explained my situation and he let me go. I handled it in court and we went out, we went about our ways. So you can't, you can't pretend- What's up, like What you said was not true. Any officer would is not true because I have fucking personal experience of that not being the case. I was in the back of the car already. And he let me out. He said, all right, get out. To be fair, chat, it's like 10% of people, 10% of cruisers target me. Most of them just like couldn't give less a fuck, right? But 10% of them will go out of their way to run my tags every chance they get. But if you see, if you see police officers every day, that 10% could be a nuisance all the time, right? That's what it ends up feeling like. Um, and again, if it's a sticker by like I, my expired sticker, nigga, okay, fine, give me the ticket, bro. It is what it is, okay? Let's move on, all right? But don't convince me that it's okay for you to allow all this bullshit. But that shit is not okay, man. I feel failed, bro. That shit is not okay. I get home at this point. I get home at this point, and I take a nap immediately because I have an A&P shoot to attend in a couple hours. I have an A&P shoot to attend in a couple hours. So I take a nap. I wake back up. We go to the A&P shoot. But when I get to the shoot, um, I don't want to spoil what the shoot is. I don't even know if we're going to release the video, to be honest with y'all. But um, I sprained my ankle. While I was running in the dark, I stepped on a large piece of concrete without a flashlight. I sprained my ankle. And now, like, I'm in pain. Like, yo, bro, in fucking pain. This is, like, me exhausted. I'm like, ah! My right ankle is fucked. And in my head, I couldn't help but think, damn, bro, I just had two good months of working out. There is no way. So my ankle's cool now, but I can't put heavy loads on it. Like if I squat, it's, I'm gonna feel pain. I'm gonna feel pain. So I'm already feeling like shit. There was some shit that happened on the shoot. Um, we're like, I don't wanna spoil nothing, but there's a whole bunch of bullshit that happened on the shoot or like, now I'm covered in this like substance that I had to wash off for like an hour when I got home. Like the clothes I was wearing were done for, my favorite sweats done for, my shirt, uh, my, my only A&P shirt, my only black A&P shirt done for. Damn. And um, I'm like, yo bro, this has been quite literally the most brutal 24 hours I've had to deal with in a while. Maybe not the worst in my life, but it's pretty fucking brutal. And then um, I wake up the next morning I pick up a phone call. Agent. Now I got bad news for you, man. I hate to have to tell you this, but uh, your Audi's engine blew. Damn. I just I just put a new turbo in the Audi. And now my Audi's done. When your engine blows, you replace your engine for like, I don't know, it's gonna be like ten to twenty-five thousand dollars, depending on what went wrong. It's not like an oil spill. It's not like an oil leak, a transmission issue. The engine's done. So I'm like, fuck. I can't drive nowhere. Now I have multiple FTAs out when I should have zero. I'm supposed to go to, I'm supposed to, go to Toronto on Saturday, and now I don't know if I can go. Don't go. They're going to say you're fleeing. Don't do that, bro. There's multiple brand deals I'm supposed to do to the tune of, I can't even tell you the amount of money I stand to lose, chat. It is so many tens of thousands of dollars if I can't go to Toronto because of these immigration issues. That's fucked. If, when me coming back, I have to explain and they won't let me back in the country so I, I can't leave because how are we gonna shoot A&P videos if I'm stuck in Canada? Now there's a whole suite of issues and money to be lost if I don't solve what's up Mark what's up mayor and it's like system failed him bro anytime I get this upset about something I just ask myself could it be worse yes it could be way worse 
And the reality is, is this is going to be dropped. This is going to be expunged from my record. And there's probably going to be some lasting consequences, but it's not the end of the world. So I just try and look at the positive. This is what suing's for. I'm telling you, you tripping, bro. I respect it. Better man than me. But nigga like me, I'd have took him to court. This is an easy. And even if you don't go all the way and they settle, you settling for half a million. Without a doubt. Settling for half a million. Easily. Because he was wronged. Bro has evidence he appeared in trial. The cop didn't even appear. Right? Shit crazy. As hell, bro. System is failing, niggas, bro. The system is fucked. Nah, he don't deserve that, bro.